Hello, I'm Dr. JC Lowen. I'm a clinical neuroscientist here at Cognitive FX. Today we're going to talk about functional MRI. Now, many of you watching may have had an MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, done of your brain. These are commonly used to look at the structure of the brain. Is everything the right size and in the right position? Is there any signs of bruising or damage for something like a concussion? Functional MRI is similar to MRI in that we can get that amazing spatial resolution. I dare you, type MRI into your computer and see all the beautiful brain images that come up. Now imagine that I could suddenly apply functional mapping on top of that beautiful structural map. And that's where functional MRI comes in. You're still in an MRI scanner, but for many functional MRIs, you're doing different tasks in order to activate parts of your brain so that that activity can then be measured. Now let's get into the more specifics. There's actually two different types of functional MRI. Resting state, where you're not doing anything, just chilling out in the MRI machine, and active or task-based functional MRI. This is where you're actually in the functional MRI doing tasks that are designed to look at areas of your brain. Now there's many different reasons to do a functional MRI. To find the site of a tumor, to look at what changes in the brain have occurred as a result of seizures or epilepsy, but it can also be used to look at concussion or post-concussion syndrome. Now, why would we use functional MRI for post-concussion syndrome? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, functional MRI is completely safe. It requires no injection of radiation, no radiation at all. It's very comfortable for the patient to lie in a scanner and do different tasks. And it provides amazing spatial and temporal resolution. You can look at areas of the brain that are as small as a lentil, I kid you not. So how do we use it at Cognitive FX? Dr. Fong, Dr. Allen, and the partners that developed Cognitive FX found out that functional MRI could in fact detect biomarkers or signs of brain injury and chronic issues in post-concussion syndrome sufferers. So what does our functional MRI look like? Well, each patient gets into the functional MRI they do six different tasks that are designed to activate and look at parts of the brain, and then we get a report where we can see decisively where there is dysregulation in each patient's brain. Now, functional MRI, you may ask, how does it exactly work? Why do you have to have a big magnet? We're not gonna go into that, but what I do want to let you guys know is that functional MRI has another amazing feature. The results from functional MRI allow us to see what's called neurovascular coupling. The essentially the connection between the cells of your brain, or neurons, and the vasculature. Every area of the brain and every cell always needs blood flow because it contains oxygen, just like every cell in our body. Now what happens in post-concussion syndrome is that when the brain tries to be active, when it tries to complete a task, certain parts of the brain may not get sufficient extra blood flow. We can actually see that in the functional MRI. We call it an FNCI, or Functional Neurocognitive Imaging, because it's designed to look at those issues specifically for concussion. If you wanna know more about Cognitive FX's version of functional MRI for post-concussion syndrome, please see the link in the description. Thank you so much for listening.